Hey Taurus, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. What's going on with you, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit? What's going on with Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back, you guys. Okay, let me stop talking. Five of, so <laughs> Five of Swords came out. The same thing happened with Virgo. And the hangman just fell out. Okay. Somebody needs to rethink something. Before you make a decision, before you move forward, rethink. Okay. As I always say, vice versa, the stories could be flipped or reversed. You're your person's energy. I could be picking up. Put the characters where they go, you guys. Five of Swords with the Hangman. Pisces energy. You may need to be strategic surrounding a Pisces. There could be someone strategizing while they're sitting back thinking. That's what I'm saying. Think before you act. Okay? On anything. This doesn't have to be about love. Okay? When it comes to anything in your life, make sure you're reading the fine print. We are in Mercury retrograde, so there could be a lot of mistakes happening. So make sure, making sure you do, you're double checking everything, all of your paperwork. Yeah, three of pentacles. This could be something on your job as well. Some of you could be trying to move and things are getting hung up. It may not be a good time to move during Mercury retrograde because like I said, there's a lot of miscommunication that happens during this time. Things could be hung up or get hung up or become hung up. Okay. There could be a lot going on with communication. Okay. People getting their wires crossed. Things are not working out or going as smoothly, as smoothly as they should. I can't even talk as smoothly as, as I should. Okay. <laughs> Ace of Swords is here. That's what I want to show you. So yeah, something with communication for a lot of you. Okay, what other messages are coming through for Taurus? What's coming through for Taurus? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. I keep pulling out a lot of cards. Five of Wands with the Page of Swords. Okay, so there could be someone watching, watching, spying, lurking. Okay, what's the energy of the Five of Wands, please? Six of Cups. Okay. Someone who has feelings. For some of you, uh, your children could be going through a lot or dealing with a lot. Maybe the, your children are busy. If you have kids, some of you have small children, okay? You may need to keep an eye on your kids. They may get into trouble. They may be getting into trouble at school or just getting into like a lot of like nitpicky things. I don't feel anything huge or life-changing, life-threatening. Life I feel like that there could be something small happening with your kids where they may get sent to the principal's office or they may get in trouble for, for talking too much or something like that. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, that's if you have small children. I'm getting the energy of small children, okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what messages are coming through? Nine of Wands. Someone here... I feel like someone here is just stuck, like hanging around, conflicted, spying on you when it comes to your love life, feeling this connection with you. They're a bit tired here, weary, okay? Nine of swords, nine of wands. Yeah, the number nine coming through. Someone feeling like giving up here, worried. Why? King of cups, because they have feelings, okay? Who is this person? Who is this person? When it comes to Taurus's love life, what's going on? Knight of pentacles. Could be an earth sign for some of you, but uh, I'm feeling like someone who wants to offer something. Two of pentacles, but they're unsure of how to come in. Kind of tiptoeing around you. Three of wands, waiting. Could be waiting at a distance with the three of wands. What does this person want to say to Taurus? Star, okay, you're their wish, okay. Four of swords, they could want to heal something with you. With the energy of the star and the four of swords. They want to heal something, okay. How's Taurus feeling? The devil energy. Yeah. So you're not really... <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. You may feel like this person is toxic. You're not really trusting. Yeah, Eight of Swords. You definitely feel like this person is toxic. Hmm. You may feel like this person is stuck in your energy or you're stuck dealing with this person. So for some of you, this could be a baby mama, baby daddy, an ex that you have to deal with in some type of way. For some of you, you may still work with this person. You have to deal with this person in some type of capacity. And that's what stresses you out. You may still have to see this person. Knight of Cups is here. 
with the king of swords okay and the three of cups whoa king uh queen of swords as well king and queen of swords you may have gone back and forth with this person for some of you take it as it resonates but i'm seeing the energy of a lot of you may have gone back and forth with this person maybe you like a start stop has some type of start stop relationship one minute you want to give this person a chance then the next minute you want to cut them off so some of you i feel that energy king and queen of swords that's like two people who are not getting along necessarily you know they're not communicating correctly but it's like you may still sleep with this person from time to time or you may still have a drink with them or you may still talk to them from time to time. But it's not really gelling. You may feel stuck in this cycle with this person. So some of you may have to break the cycle. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on in this connection? What's going on? Whoa, I keep pulling a lot. Here we go. Now we have the Queen of Cups. The King of Cups already came out, remember? Now we have the queen of cups and the four of cups so that tells me there's feelings here but it's like neither one of you are willing to break or bend this feels like a relationship okay i already did your singles read so if you're single you may want to go and check out that reading for this week for, for this week for this week you may want to go check out that reading okay this feels like a relationship that's been off and on. I also feel like tit for tat. Like this person does something and then you do something to get back at them. I also feel the energy of that as well. <sighs> okay, Taurus. Like I said, there's feelings here, but like neither one of you want to express the feelings or neither one of you are willing to like lay aside your pride high priestess and therefore things just like remain a secret or things may remain foggy or in a gray area when it comes to feelings emotions look ten of cups just dropped out oh with the ace of cups whoa why did the ten of cups and ace of cups just drop out what is that spirit nine of pentacles yeah some of you may need to move on to something that makes you happy Ace of Cups with Ten of Cups. You may have a new lover, the opportunity for new love to come in. Ace of Cups and then Ten of Cups. Something that makes you very happy. You may be happy being single as well. Nine of Pentacles. Ain't nothing wrong with being single. Okay, especially if you've been off and on with this person or things have been hot and cold with this lover. Things have been hot and cold. You may feel stuck in a, in a cycle. Like you keep having the same argument or the two of you keep dealing with the same stuff over and over and you may not know how to break out of that and get back to the love get back to the emotions what does this person want to say to taurus at this time five of cups they're sorry they have regrets here eight of cups they may feel you distancing yourself they definitely feel it you may have your back to this person i feel the energy of like even like keeping sex from this person you may not want to have sex with this person or you may not want to sleep with them anymore. Yeah, leaving them out in the cold, five of pentacles. They feel left out in the cold. They definitely feel the distance with the eight of cups and five of pentacles. They feel it. They feel it. Chariot is here. Cancerian energy and the world. Yeah, okay. Queen of pentacles. They don't want to give up on this. They don't want to move on. They don't want to give up on this. Yeah, they want to stay. I don't normally get this with the Seven of Pentacles, but I'm getting stay. They want to stay. They want to invest in this. Yeah, what's blocking this connection from moving forward? Anything that's blocking? What's blocking? So the both of you are dealing with hurt or pain or disappointment. They could be disappointed in you and you're disappointed in them. Three of swords. I feel strong disappointment. Magician. It could be a Gemini for some of you. There's disappointment here. 
Four of Pentacles. Oh, and selfishness. I just heard selfishness. Both of you. Oh, okay. And when I say selfishness, I mean like being selfish or stingy with your emotions. Both of you have done this. I see it. It's here. Okay. If it's not your story, it's not your story. But it's here. <laughs> There's disappointment here because the two of you have been selfish or stingy with emotions. Whoa, what just flipped? What is this? Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands, the Moon with the Seven of Swords. If the two of you don't get on track, it's going to cause someone to cheat uh, uh, straight up. I felt that energy as soon as I flipped these cards over. Nine of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Someone wants the passion back. But if that doesn't happen, someone is going to end up sneaking off. Someone's going to end up sneaking off. That may be something difficult that you have to deal with. Okay, Strength card. It could be a Leo. You could cheat or they could cheat. <clears throat> Someone's going to sneak off. Someone's going to step out of the connection it feels like a fear of losing each other or a fear of leaving each other. There's a fear here. Now, this could have already happened as well. Hmm. What will come of this week? Anything Taurus would need to know. What will come of this week? What will happen? Empress, your energy, Taurus. Six of Swords. Oh. Judgment. Okay. And the lovers. <sighs> Page of Cups. Someone may apologize. You may try to leave and this person may try to apologize to you. And they may even try to sleep with you to get you to stay. Restart something by sleeping with you. Laying it on thick. Yeah. Libra's energy. Justice is here. Ace of Swords. Someone is going to try to make it right with you. And that's that start-stop energy. It's like the minute you're out the door, this person may convince you to stay. So if you want to stop this cycle of hot and cold, in and out, one minute we're hot and heavy, the next minute we're not even talking. If you want to stop that cycle, you've got to say no to this person. You've got to say, okay, let's go to counseling or let's get help or let's just call it quits. Okay. I know it's not that cut and dry for a lot of people. That's just how I speak. I speak very cut and dry. <laughs> Blame it on my moon in Capricorn. Okay. But I'm very decisive. Uh, I'm not an indecisive person. So I'm always like, just make a decision, you know, but it's always up to you what you want to do. Okay. Any other advice or insight for Taurus this week? Advice or insight. Earth sign. Yeah, you could be dealing with a fellow earth sign for some of you. Distance. Yeah, I think I mentioned that. This person could be at a distance. Intimacy. Yeah, I'm feeling like this could be emotional distance as well. Feeling emotionally distant from you, the earth sign. Someone is feeling emotionally distant from you. The intimacy could be lacking as well. Distant e emotionally or with your intimacy. Okay. One more for Taurus. They'll be back. Yeah. Again, it's an off and on energy. It says expect to hear from them soon. Very off and on in and out. Someone could also be lying. Liar. Be careful if someone's sneaky. That's what I said. If this doesn't get on track, there may be cheating or there may have already been cheating in this connection. Okay? But someone is planning on coming back. It's up to you to take this person back or keep going in this loop with this person. I feel like there's a loop here. Advice or insight? For Taurus, advice or insight? Indulgence. It says interaction, joy, friendliness. Some of you may need to get away, hang out with your friends. Some of you may need a girl's trip, guy's trip. Some of you may need, if if you're in a relationship, some of, some of you may need to interact with other couples as well, okay? Some of you may need to open up to a friend about this connection. 
Maybe you need some advice or just, you know, a listening ear. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What else? For Taurus. Death. <clears throat> Death is here. It says endless harm inevitable. Something may be inevitable. There may be a death coming to this relationship or to this connection. Okay. Someone may need to put an end to indulgence. Death of indulgence as well. Someone may be overindulging, possibly in spending or drinking or going out too much and not investing in this connection. Let's get one more. Homeless. Yeah. If someone is spending too much or partying too much, someone may end up on the outs. You may be getting ready to leave someone, okay? And or kick somebody out. It says failure, castaway, poor. Someone could be struggling a lot with that, okay? Struggling, feeling like a failure. You may feel like this relationship was a failed connection as well. Yeah, be careful of playing someone's puppet. Marionette is here. It says dictatorship, domination, reluctance. Be careful of falling into this trap of just doing whatever this person wants you to do. That's why I said there. it's like the energy of someone coming back. You could be mad at this person or upset with this person and they come back, but they're, them coming back has strings attached. It's like, I'm coming back, but things need to be my way. So they woo you and, and get you to open up again, but then there's strings attached in some type of way with this person. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, one card for Taurus. One card. Compassion. It says, be gentle with yourself, Taurus. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and in others. So I feel like there's been a lot of turmoil like I said, having the same argument with this person, there's been some turmoil here. So you may need to have compassion on the situation if you want this to work. Like I said, some of you may need to go to counseling if this is salvageable, okay? But it's going to take compassion on both sides. Even the cross watcher dealing with the Taurus, you have to have some compassion too, okay? It takes two to make this work. It takes both parties, not just one. Alrighty, Taurus, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Share your story with me. If this is your story, share your story with me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Take care. Bye.